Hello everybody and welcome back to Maximus and Lexa. Yay! And today we're going to be building a lollipop house. Yes, that right. We're going to be building a lollipop house. Yes, hello everybody and uh, yeah, as Lexa said, start of our new big build. After our last one being a train station, today we will be building a lollipop house, if that makes any sense. Right, so over to the building area, which is here. So First what of all, do, what we're going to do is we need to make um, like lollipops that look like that. So obviously you got to go down like this. So each bit will be. Something like that. Do you agree with that, Alexa? Um, I think you have a different idea to me. Go on then, show me your idea. Well, first of all, we need to build the legs. Because next to me, I've got a model of a lollipop house. So I'm, I'm basically copying that. Yeah, but right. I'm just thinking the shape of the uh, sticks. Yes. So I got the curve well, the at the end. The sticks are just long, really. Yeah, but they got the curve at the end, haven't they? Have they? Mm. Oh. Well, my house, those have been cut off. <laughs> I cut all the curves off to make it a bit more... ...sticky. <laughs> That's the word. Um, I'm not going to worry about the size. We're just going to focus on building these legs. Uh, if I go down this way then how big we made it so we hope everyone is doing well and thank you for joining us and we hope that you've enjoyed a couple of uh, live videos we've done of course with Crash and the Minecraft. Right, that should be big enough, so now I'm gonna start going this way. Those are not in line. Or are they in line? Oh it turns out they were in line. So that's good news. Yes, they're all the same level. Yep, and hopefully we can get these ones to match up. I'm sure we can. I'll just do one more out. Oh. And then I'll start doing Happy Maximus. Wait, stop! This is one too high. Oh. There you go. No, that wasn't one too hard, was it? There we go, right. Carry on from this side bit. If you are copying, you just basically have to make this shape to start your big house. <laughs> what we mustn't forget about is there's a little bit here to allow for some stairs. So you might just make a square. It's a long... This is going to be like the door, I suppose. This is actually designed for animals, not actually for people. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, you've let your hamster run around on yours. Yeah. Well, it's at, and believe it or not, it's actually designed for a rat. The original video that I copied it off was for a rat. So now we're just going to simply start making some stairs. But if you're doing this for real, you would use like uh, matchsticks, not matchsticks, lollipop like sticks, and use like a very, very carefully like a glue gun. Yeah, which I did. Right, so okay, no, all we need to do is cut these bits off along there. Just to make it a bit more thinner. And now we're just gonna start joining these up and hopefully it's gonna look like some stairs. For hamsters or rats or whatever. <laughs> there you go. We have got some stairs. Before you do that, Maximus, we need to add some pillows at the back and we need to add some in the middle. Yeah, we can do that as we go along. A few more. There we go, we've got our frame. So now we just need to randomly dot pillows around. And what I mean by pillows is these support pillows. I don't mean pillows as bed pillows. <laughs> Be a bit uncomfortable. I, I thought that I put that in. <laughs> I'm sure many people do know that, but... There we go. So again, if you're making this in real life, you do actually have to put some in the middle. Just like how we are doing this now. Otherwise there won't be much support when the hamster, rat or gerbil, guinea pig or whatever <laughs> walks around it. And of course we don't want it collapsing on it. Okay. We'll just do one around here. Right, good. So now we need to put some lights on it. Getting this flooring all done. So this is going to be a, a big build, so we're not going to get this all done. It's going to take a few episodes on uh, sort of a, a Monday big build for us. And of course you do have to put some torches in the middle as well, just to... This one ain't right. What's happened here? Just line it up. Right, so this is looking good. We have got the base. So now we've just got some torches around in the inside. So you can see the extra detail right in the pillows. There we go. That should be good enough. Hopefully not too much of camp out under there. So now we just need to start making a fence going along here. So there's a very noisy aeroplane that's just flying by, so if you can hear an aeroplane, then. Well, there's an aeroplane. <laughs> right. 
I think it's gone now, actually. Um. Fence. Um, what would be a good colour? Let's have this colour. I'm just going to put the fence around. So you just help making but the would, fence would, grow. Would it be like that, or would it be more bulky? Being the lollipop sticks. Well, no, but I'm going to use fences just for looks, really. Yeah, I know. Just so it looks But good. I wondered whether it would look better, like, because it's supposed to be like lollipop sticks like that. No, because when we build the buildings, we'll be covering them up a bit too much. And of course, we want to see the buildings, don't we? This does have two layers, so we will be building it upstairs and downstairs. So it does get taller than this. looking good so far so now I need just need to add four pillows here would your steps be better if you had one there no because I, I quite like it with the gaps looks dangerous to me get your toes stuck in it but the one in real life does have gaps, and that's what I'm basing it off, so... <laughs> right. Everyone's just heard you yawning. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Maximus is a bit tired today, so yeah. all the episodes is going to come <laughs> off. Maximus being a bit tired, but... Oh, well. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. So not feeling too good today. Right. That's why I'm doing most of the commentary, <laughs> it would seem. But anyway, let's go. That should be plenty now. So we'll build the wall. And then we'll do the doors. I want to go one in. Okay. And we don't want it any taller than the beams that we have just produced there. Actually, we want it a bit more smaller. I thought it's a rat or a hamster Shall we do it in the diet? Get some yeah. sleep. There we go. See what we're doing. Right, so that's the door. Now we just built the building. There we go. So we don't want the window too close to the door. We do want it about in the middle, I'll say. It's about there. That's a good place for a window. So we simply want to just go one up there. And we need to make another line here so it's level with the beams. And then we want to get rid of this. And then we want to use our fences again and make a cross. Now I know there's going to be a bit of an issue when you go down here. It's not going to look totally right. But it's the best as we can do. Actually, we could use the never rods. Can I get some of them and see how they look? Wherever they are. Shall I build along here? Yeah, just make that a plain wall. Level with my other wall. Um, we'll stay with fences, just because I can't find them. 
And I don't want to waste everyone's time looking for fences. So there we go. And there is a window on the side as well, so... Again, we want to make that in the middle. So, that's about right. We want to fill in these side bits. to make a, this a bit more high. And we want to do exactly the same thing where we make a cross with the fence posts. Right, so that is this building. We want to leave this bit open. We don't want a wall here. Just for an extra bit of detail, because if the hamster or whatever what any animal is going to play on this goes in here, and if it gets stuck or something, you need to be able to put your hand in to save it. So we don't want to have a wall there. That told me. Right. So <laughs> now we just need to do what we did downstairs. Similar, except we are one in. We just want to go straight across and build upstairs. And then we got to build a ladder in the side, exactly the same as that. Just going up about where well, I put the gap there, next to the door. I think there is a bit of an overhang between this wall and that wall, so I'll do that too thick. Maybe I'll just get rid of this side bit. Okay. So we have now got a square. That's looking a little bit weak there. I might add something now, I don't know. Put some torches in so we can see what we're doing. What we can do is do some furniture inside this. So we build the table and chairs. Mine. Getting these. They're actually a smaller one than last time. Yeah. Um, it's a bit big, but I have to do. So here we go. We have got a table. And we have to just put some stools or something around it. Let's just put some stools. So we just go like that. And that. I won't do one there. I'm just gonna get some pressure plates and then we're gonna put the padding on them like that. <laughs> There we go, we get some light in here so the animal can see in. There we go. Alright, so we need to do the middle and then that be the table complete. And maybe we could do like a shelf along here. And then we can do a little fridge or cabinet or cupboards or whatever. So we simply get some iron doors for this. Don't forget to leave some for our episodes, Alexa. Yes. And then we're just gonna get a button and then we'll add some cupboards and then we'll go it day. So there we go. I hope everyone's enjoying Lexter's commentary. <laughs> It's been quite nice not having to worry about when 
like one of us to start talking and we end up talking over the other and it just gets a big we mess. We don't do that. That's been quite nice. <laughs> Not to worry about that. But right. Um. <laughs> gonna have to do. Right, there you go. So that is the living room done, I suppose. The hamsters or rats or gerbils or whatever. <laughs> I say living room. So in the next episode, we're going to be making some stairs and we're going to do a house the opposite inside. And that should be it. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. And uh, so this is part of a big build, so join us for the continuous part of it. Thank you very much.